What is the crack? We are going to sort these lights out. We are going to jump into some poker tournaments. We're going to look at the field in the 2k. I don't expect it to be amazing. As long as it's not utterly horrendous, which it might be. Uh, we're going to jump in right now immediately. All right, into the $2,000 PKO we go. 500k guaranteed. 100 big blinds. A pretty tough table, but that is just a crack with $2,000 tournaments. That is how they go. They're tough, but I, I tend to lean towards PKOs and I tend to lean towards the ones with the bigger guarantees on the weekend. Even though they're going to be tough, they're still going to be easier than the, like, you know, someone max bullying in like a freeze out or whatever. We'll probably only be playing a couple more 2Ks is my guess. Uh, we flat here. Sorry, we call pre-flop. Call flop. River is a little bit annoying if they bet. Oh, God. Oh, my God. That looked like a red card. We're going to call out a small blind here. Could potentially tree bet as well. Uh, uh, we're just showing it down here. Uh, we have flattened in the 2k, boys and girls. Huge pot with the pocket jacks. Biggest pot so far of the day. We induced a raise. Gogak is all in. This pot is massive. For a big stack and for $500. No. Oh my god, the jacks. Nobody. In the world, plays the bear in 50. Come on, the boys. Come on, the jacks. $1,000. We are one out of 63. Good start. That's how you play the pocket jacks. Whew. Whew. What a time to find a jack. Unbelievable. All right. What a time to find a jack, eh? $1,000. All right. We draw. Sweaty, 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 sweaty stuff. What a time to find a fucking jack. Let's make some day twos and win some trophies. Going to try my very, very, very best. Obviously, just top class stuff here to get double bounties early doors. Get that booty daddy. Uh, not loving life at this stack depth with this hand, but against this size, I will call. And you'll see why we don't love life here. We're going to start putting pressure on immediately. All right, we do win the pot in the 2K as well. How's the 2K? Uh, we have one quarter of a million chips, second out of 86 after a very, very, very good start where we hit a two outer, which is kind of feels like, and we are raising it in the 2K where Lex Belt is actually has more chips than me and no bounties. Ramon Colilius, Parker, everyone, everyone got some stacks today. A lot of team pro representation up there at the top of the field. And we are going to be continuing on this board. Even though we're three-handed, I still think it's reasonable to use a larger bet size on some of the 10 and 9 high boards. Don't think we're going to be calling. It's kind of interesting against this size. I think blocking the 5-6 isn't that important because if they 5-6 first, they probably would just raise. Oh, that might be offside by Everton, eh? We're going to fold. Um, up here against Tank Anza, we are going to click the call button. Vamos! Kind of an interesting flop. Um, we're going to start with a check. Probably actually going to check again. Like Anza bets. I think calling one is utterly mandatory. Ah, it's unfortunate. Wow. And we did lose a player here. Alright, we flopped our pair here multi-way. And uh, we're gonna start with small uh, tree ways. I think if it was heads up, we would be going mostly big on this board. And I think we're just going to start piling some chips in. Pretty ugly if they raise. Might actually be dicey to do this on this turn card versus big blind because they've got four deuce. I do not. They have eight tree suited, five tree suited. I actually think the this card is too good for them for me to have chosen this size. And it might be a bit of an error. All right, we win an okay pot there. It's been a, a little bit of a bad 10 minutes, to be perfectly honest. But a good start in the 2k. We're still in the 1k. We're going to be jumping into more scoop events. All right. We're all in for a second bounty over here. In the 2k. Damn it. We need a 6. We are not getting a 6. The hottest hand in the game just can't compete. And also I bet against Domini raised. All right. Unfortunately, we don't win there. Not sure about this, but we are going to call. Pretty sure that it's good flop though. Might be a lead out of small blind actually. Uh, if they bet, we will just be calling. Hoping that Nazo finds a raise. Can go for a check raise on the turn. All right, and they bet here on the turn. And we are going to check raise. And hopefully they are going to have a set. And the board is not going to pair. And we're going to get all the chips in. If they have jack 10, it would be horrendously unfortunate. 
horrendously unfortunate. Jack 10 shouldn't call the turn, I don't think. Just pocket eights, mate. Just the pocket eights. Well, they don't have Jack 10. Please, sir, can we have a call? Can we have a call? Obviously, very, very tough for anyone to be bluffing here, but hopefully they will make the big call for a huge pot in the 2k. Alright, still a big pot. Scary stuff going on here, but we're Benny's not folding queens, are we? We are not folding the queens at all. Mate, what the fuck? Should I fold the queens? The bounties are worth a lot of bit. Oh, God, I don't like folding queens in the bounties. Something I very rarely done. All right, well, we make the right fold. As painful as it was, very, 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 very painful stuff. Bloody Nora. Nice raise. Unfortunately, they do find a fold in a huge pot on the river, but all good. See what people want to do in the uh, the hand with the queens. Probably between it that Scoops had the better of us so far. Hasn't he had two final tables and a bunch of day twos in the first week? Or am I wrong in saying that? I thought he had. I'm not 100% sure about this. I think maybe this hand's slightly too good to bet here. We're not really going to make any... Uh, we're not going to really make any hands fold. Um, maybe like King X without uh, a backdoor flush draw. But other than that, it's usually just going to be worse hands folding. Not many better hands at all. Uh, that's going to go in the bin. All right, we're defending here with 7-8. All right, hopefully this goes check check and we just win. I definitely have a very reasonable amount of ace eggs in that river. Interesting, what's that size? Oh, are they just going into absolute milk mode? Still think it's a mistake, even though I obviously uh, paid off here, I still don't think the size is good. I unblock all of the jack tens, queen jacks, unblock all of the miss flush draws, like not even 100% sure if they would bluff with them, but like, I wanna hear what they're saying here about this decision, one sec. Easiest reshove ever. It's been opened, 3-bet and 4-bet, under the gun 1, under gun 2, and MP2, and I'm sitting there next to act, and it's easiest reshove ever with queens. The easiest reshove ever. Don't, don't, don't worry if you get pocket aces blind versus blind. Never mind that. No, no, no. This is the easiest reshove of all time. Uh, decent hand in the 2k. Obviously, would very much love for a little bit of action. Don't mind if it's from CPU, just all in. $500. Wouldn't be mad at it. Would welcome it with open arms. And might be getting it. Getting aces in a PKO. Hot top of your buying range. $2,000. Each bounty's worth at least $500. And they're all just going to fold. Do you know how much that hurts? Do you know how much I'm going to have to pay for therapy to get over that? Absolutely unbelievable. And up here we also raise in the 2k. Not the greatest of flops. Might see leads from either player. Potentially. And up here we have the 10 and the 10. Gonna be true ban against CPU for a $500 bounty. If it goes in, I might not do amazingly well, but such is life. Call, shove, rejam, play for another thousand dollars in bounties, run good. Most importantly, better looking and good. I've always said it. Pot could get very, very spicy if they shove, and it looks like they might be about to do it. Do we have it all in? Oh my days. Big boy pots in the 2k for at least another $500. 85,000 chips, but like these players might come along. I have a $1,000 bounty on my head and D-Block covers me. Big boy pots. Avoid the 6. 48. Uh oh. Whoop, 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 whoop. Give me them chips. You just absolutely, and I repeat, absolutely love to see it. We take that all day long. My stack in the 2k? Thank you, mate. Uh, we are going to raise in the 1k, but first off, we will stick here in the 2k where we have trips. Uh, I'm not loving life, though. I've got to be perfectly honest. All right, we will, we will fold if fish on here bets again. Lot of straights at this point. Small chance of winning, but not much. All right, straight is good. Not sure about the bet on the turn. As we raise up, blind versus blind here. $750 bounty will be in play if we were to cooler them. Or just play a very large pop. Maybe not necessarily cooler them. And we'll stay here as we have the Kevin Cleans. The Pocket Kings. Which apparently, according to Serena, and I'm careful not to jinx it here, have a 100% record so far in scoop. Is it true? Hard to know. They might be about to get put to the test. We are going to raise up. We can actually squeeze pretty liberally here. They are very capped when they just flat against this stack. And we can like tree bat like Queen Jack suited here and then call it off. All right. Are the Kevins doing bits? 250k. Kevin. Kevin. Bon. 
We take it. Is it actually Finn Dad? It is indeed. He is in here a lot of nights. Very regularly dropping in, especially during scoop. $2,000 now in the 2K, which uh, is nice. Means that the, the massacre of last Sunday, almost certainly at this point, won't be repeated. We are going to volley better. So they limped, stabbed, checked the turret. We just want to see them click call. Raise and we hate life. Blind versus blind, I will be all in against Ben, for sure. Uh, yeah, we're going to call her against European. All right, well, let's avoid an ace or our card for $500. Winning all-ins against European. It's going to be a bloody great day. Raid lot. You all in, son? You all in? All in. All in. All in. All in. Oh, my God. We're playing for all the chips. Oh, my, oh my God. I thought he was on me. I don't know whether it's likely to be raised call or raised fall. I don't play with raid a lot. A lot. All right. Big flip. <coughs> See, if you just cough really, really loud. <coughs> They're like, oh, shit. Get your shit together. We got it. We got to put a big card up there. And there it comes. $3,000 in bennies. Nine out of 81. Easy cash. And here we are raising it into the fish's big blind, aka bow effect. We're. Um, could mix in some bigger bets here too. And this is just going to have to be an empty now. <clears throat> Alright, nice pot. Alright, good time to find a couple of pairs. Oh, not quite, but we do have a good shot. Can't call, unfortunately. Very sad. All right, late red is closed. 73 left, 34 paid. Ah, got to mix between bet and check. This time we are checking. Interesting river card. The only problem with doing this is that like, I need to have at least check down. And we might end up actually seeing some pretty <coughs> gangster calls against that. Gonna have a little look and see this line later on. Uh, it's possible for me to have a six with a spade, that would also do, but obviously pretty happy to get folds. Of course. 12 out of 70. Um as much as we would like to gamble for Bentis, it won't be happening. Ace Queen versus tens versus sixes. Alright, 530 we win a decent little pot and we get a new table which has some absolute murderers and Spraggy. <laughs> 16 of 62 and here we get flat out a small blind and we have proud flop in the big obviously prime squeeze an opportunity when he covers the two of us but there's not much i'm going to be able to do flopping the joint flopping the straight is pretty cool hopefully we can play for this bounty two thousand dollar bounty over here um I, I think it's quite difficult to want to bet very big on this board against small blind and big blind but i could be wrong three way spots are pretty difficult obviously a little bit unfortunate, I would say. They can definitely have some full houses here. We need to be somewhat careful. I don't actually know what the big size I can bet is. <clears throat> I mean, we're going to go for it. I hope they have King 10 or King 9. They can definitely have King Queen or King Jack, but they don't have Queens and don't have Jack. So 10 9 would be nice. $2,000 Benny and a huge pot. I don't think a straight can be too thin here when they should mix King Queen pre, King Jack pre. They never have queens, they never have jacks, they never have kings. We don't want the snap, this is good. Now we want the call for 1 million chips, a $2,000 bounty and a huge pot. Unfortunately not. I wonder if my size on the turn is a little too greedy. Like, it's real tough to bluff on that turn, right? So I don't know if my size is correct. Could be, could be wrong. Uh, if I've got opens, I'm going to true by fold. $1,000 bounty. Would be very, very, very interesting. They call it small. Going to start with a check. I think betting ace three suit is actually probably fine though. Check more like ace eight, ace seven, ace nine. I'm gonna bet just because I think they actually have a decent amount of interaction around this board. I can call that's worse, like king jacks, king tens, ten eights, jack tens. Um, and if they check raise, we have a hand that's pretty comfortable to continue with. Check raise, they shall. Honestly, pretty good river cards. I don't think they have pocket nines. Don't think they check raise pocket deuces. Might have six nine suited, but I think that's probably the only full house they have. With that Benny, we are absolutely going to be, have to go all in if they bet. We can bluff here with like ace jack, ace ten. Um, that has the ace of hearts. And that's how we would play the hand once they check the river. Possibly a little greedy. But once they check raise and check there on that river, they're just so capped. Gonna have a little look at it later on and find out though. 
<clears throat> all right we are raised up with the 10 and the 10 there's a chance that they just literally had like the hands we were talking about um and we could have ended up checking on the river against them but obviously with this hand we would have loved to get some action some potentially very nice bounties to take the reason we are min raising right now is because of what's the starting stack so it's like 10. Uh, we're going to treat about if they should we're going to call uh basically their bounty at this point is i had to guess were like six and a half big blinds or something and when they have 25 i think it's going to make it okay it's very 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 close i won't be happy if they go all in obviously i will not be happy at all i think it's going to be super close i think it should be okay with the bounty so many good flops potentially and we get seven for trey not a single club in sight not a single king in sight nothing good in sight at all <clears throat> not great and up here we're playing a pot in the 2k also true band with kings in the 530 bounty builder but uh we have two pair here now if they bet like 50k i'm gonna be all in queen four is the only hand i'm really concerned about it's really close i'm gonna show up, but very close if they have ace four or queen four then such is life All right, we win a nice pot. We're back up to 850,000 chips. I just can't check and have let them have a, like an ace that potentially might hero off here. Pretty close though. Uh, here we have a flush draw. Kaiser Felipe could have some like 9-10s, queen 10s. Obviously some jack x to go on in here. Pot could end up being pretty spicy. We are 15 spots away from the cash in the 2k. All right, we're closing in. I don't think we've been to the million mark just yet in the 2K. Now we're on the way up there. It's been a very, very clean tournament so far. Can't say the same about the 1K, unfortunately, but we are 21 spots away from the cash over there as well. Two of the bounties up for grabs. So wide calls should be made. $1,000 and $2,250. It is a naughty little spa. Ace four, king 10 and eights. Don't know who has what here. All right, we lose one of the bannies. Uh, we get moved table. Would have obviously enjoyed staying at that table. Seemed pretty reasonable for a, for a 2K and like with the stack distribution, it was all right. Whereas now we've got lots of chips on my left. There's not really many short stacks. It's a little bit of a problem. Up here, they lead into four people, eh? Uh, I'm gonna fold, jeez. Uh, and over here, we're going to mix turns. So we open, they check. I actually think checking is decent. I think betting is also fine, though. Obviously not folding. I should go check, check a lot. 48,000, eh? I don't think I'm going to fold. I think they just have too much 9, 10, jack 10. Some random hands that, like, just don't make sense to uh, to want to bet half pot on this particular river. Uh, top two. Okay. We are 14 of 42. 180 big blinds on the 530 bounty builder is a pretty nice place to be. We are 10 spots away from the cash in the 1k. We are 8 spots away from the cash in the 2k. Obviously getting into the money in both of these tournaments would be pretty nice for the sweats. Also for the cash monies. I won't say it. But we do have the Kevins in the $2,000 buy-in. 8 spots away from the cash. Obviously getting a walk would be a fucking disaster. <sighs> It was looking quite likely, Lee, given the situation that we find ourselves in, in terms of getting to the money, but sad times. It's impossible. When you're playing Benny Tours, particularly when it's high up in your buying range, it's impossible not to get excited looking at, looking at the opportunity for bennies, but not to be. $500 Benny for grabs, $750 Benny for grabs, $2,000 Benny for grabs, Ace King, Ace King, and the Jacks. Fortunate for Paulinho, out of there. We've got Martin Jakobsen on our direct left, which is obviously not the most fun, but it's all good. We're seven spots away from the cash. This is playing down to a final table tonight. After nine hours and 45 minutes, so two hours and 45 minutes left on the day. If we have made it that far, things are going very, very, very well. Two spots away from the cash in the 2K. All right, we are on the exact bubble and we pick up Ace 10 suited. All right, so we get raised on the exact bubble. Obviously, Ace 10 suited is... Not going to be hand, we're going to be folding. Um, I actually don't know if there's small bets here. One million! One million! Everybody was being a little bit sneaky. One million chips on the bubble. 11 out of 35. One spot away from the cash. We are confirmed in the cash of the 2k. Beautiful. Just won a big pot. Um, 
We're just gonna call against Lucky with the button. I have some traps here, but this ain't one of them. All right, we got a call for an $1,800 bounty. This is a pretty nice pot if we take it down. Any pocket sixes over there? Any ace five of hearts? All right, well, I can hit a 10 or an eight. It's gonna be very tough now, but not impossible. All right, we lose the first all in. Unfortunately, no, it's almost $2,000 bounty coming my way, but we are in the money, which means we're guaranteed $3,000 plus $2,300 is a $5,300 cash, and uh, we're sitting pretty. We have 60 big blinds. We are playing down to the final table here this evening. If we make it, it will be our first final table of Scoop 2022. Has about $100,000 first. Will be a pretty nice one to final table, if I do say so myself. Love nothing more than to add a 2k to the collection, having won a 1k and a 5k. 2k's are tough tournaments. Some of the very best players in the world. And then a little Finty in here, ready to take names. Average stack right now is around our stack, 830k. Pretty tough field, not gonna lie. Benj in there, Lucky Fish. A lot, a lot of good players. Sam Squid, one of the biggest stacks in the tournament right now. 2k first day we're gonna make of Scoop. Will be a nice one considering it's coming back to a final table. We see an all in over here. Open, shove, call, King 10. This player's having a little bit of buzz, eh? All right, we do pick up Ace Queen, which could result in some interesting pots. Uh, they're playing so many hands. We are going to be true betting here. If obviously Louis goes all in there, we'll have to call. Just getting too good of a price. We're hoping for them to call. We don't want to get four bet here. And th they're playing 78% of our hands, raising 32%. This is a problem in terms of we're gonna to have to empty it's kind of interesting i don't think i'm gonna raise we're just gonna call but probably gonna to want to put a decent amount of chips in here uh i'm gonna raise 10 interesting i don't know if i can go all in on a 10. oh baby that's a nice pot 1.5 million don't mind if i do we take that all day long son all day long and twice on sundays could probably be min raising with these stacks but we raise it up if they get in the mix we are going to be put more chips in if louis shoves we're playing a big pot with the jacks and on this board we are absolutely going to be trying to get chips in against taha i would play for all the chips i would play for three million chips with this hand boys and girls this could be pretty wild against this player all right one thousand chips i actually don't feel good about this one Come on, the Jacks! Come on! Can't fold. Given what they've just shown us, you cannot fold. But come on! Come on! We have 2.5 million chips. We are first in the 2K. Woo! They're all in with 92 cards. It's a pity we didn't have a hand. I don't think 10-6 is the hand. They're just putting it on a platter. Who wants it? Who wants it? We want the club so bad. Get there. Oh my god, that's great news. That is great news. 500,000 chips still up for grabs <laughs> and literally up for grabs. That player is here to hand them away. Oh my God. They're going to call it off so wide here, boys and girls. Be prepared. This is a very, very high variance spot, but we got to go for it. Oh my God. They're going to call it 92 guards almost. This is huge. Please fucking hold. Oh my God. This is such high variance. Oh my god, we just took down a massive pot with ace five high. What in the world was that chap up to? That lad woke up this morning and shows violence. What the fuck? Oh my god. Uh, that is one of the most insane turnarounds I've ever gone through in a tournament. Not that we were doing so badly or anything, but we've just won hundreds of big blinds. Lad, the, the, the delay five minutes ago, I had 800,000 chips. What? Five minutes ago, I had 800,000 chips before extra stack. Boys and girls, we have so much going on. I would get back into 1k. We've been jumping into them pretty late, but with it being a six max, I'm just going to concentrate more on here where we are one of 19 in a scoop. Oh my days. Patrick Pads is all in here. All right, big, big, big trouble for Pads. Think he would treat back call top his range, but possibly not. Oh, Ooh. tense. Oh my God. Oh my god. Oh my days. Not good news for our chances to win that tournament, by the way. What a pot for pads, man. Oh my days. His neighbors are going to be wondering what's up. Uh, we're going to skip off that because we have the ace and the ace. Obviously, very, very, very deep here against 
Everybody. Uh, Queen 10 7, we're gonna have some bigger bets on. We just got our last nine players, and we will be coming back tomorrow to play for $100,000 in the 2K. Some crack. All right, time to make a small first. Decent spot for the squeeze, and we do see it. Sam Squid currently second in chips. Benjamin Sprague also in. As Navy Seal says, how are you on this fine scoop Sunday? Hope you're winning. We are seven spots away from our first final table of the series. We are one out of 16. Just watching Pads Insta stories for the first time. They're good. Ah, oh, yeah, man. He's, he's, he's good. Crack on the Instagram stories. Gotta give him that. All right. We are raising it up with Jax. It's an incredibly deep stack tournament, which makes it pretty complicated, to be honest. Pretty complicated indeed. If Sizer is a shove, uh, we would not be folding. This is it's good flop. Maybe tough to get paid off, but very, very good flop. Uh, we're going to bet the turn. And we are going to bet the river. All right. Um, obviously, having my hand isn't amazing, but unblocking all of the... Wow. Wow, wow, wow. <clears throat> Definitely call him one here. I mean, I have Jack's a reasonable amount of time, so hopefully that'll freeze them up. That is a river card that they shouldn't pull the trigger on. And also, I have a decent amount of Jack, so we don't have to worry about it. All right. <clears throat> um, we check back with the King 10, win a nice pot. They would have been all in on a brick, man. And uh, I don't know if I would have been able to make the call without, without, a, without, a, uh, without a diamond. It would have been pretty naughty. Not gonna open up base four. Like this, this, this is this is not the. I ain't got bums on my left. You know what I mean? It's not, I'm not just gonna get away with it. Can you show the chip graph, mate? It's been pretty steady to be honest. But no problem, no problem at all. Been pretty steady the whole tournament. Bam, 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 And we're back. And we're back. I'm gonna treat bet against pads. Think flat calling would also be fine. uh we are gonna check call the turn we're just gonna make him fold all of his jack 10 queen jack king queens if we bet i don't think he's gonna bet ace highs obviously if a tree rolls off and he has a nine it would be very very nasty for pads but and uh we showed in a winner against pads here he did have king jack which is exactly what we're talking about if i bet the turn they just fold these hands if uh if we check call we get some bluffs out of them and you know sometimes we can get like the dream run out where he'll fire it off like, we're not going to try and make him fold, like, ace highs or anything like that. All right, pads is all in. Might need a little bit of luck again. That was a very, very, very quick shove from Peppa. Huge. I would prefer Peppa get the chips. No disrespect to pads. If anything, it's respect because he's just such a good player. We want him gone. All right, king jack versus queens. If we avoid a king, we are down to 12 and he's one of the best players. GG to pads. There will be no final table on the stories. Unfortunately, for that, from that point of view, it would have been a bit of crack. Uh, we're gonna call and play a pot in position with the queen 10 here. We don't need to be tree betting and playing massive pots every time. We have lots of chips. We can call, see a flop in position. Going to start with a call. Uh, on that particular turn card, I won't be folding. Sizing's kind of interesting. Um, I think it's mandatory call. I'd fold here if I had like queen nine or queen eight or something like that, but not with queen 10. Obviously very, very interesting river card. How do I bluff here? It's something like nine, 10 with backdoor flush would be a pretty clean bluff, but um we're not gonna overbet here we're just gonna bet the pot oh my god <clears throat> all right we're not the chip leader anymore thank fuck they didn't check raise all right we still have big we still have 100 big blinds a little bit of a setback they had a set they uh just went for the check call on the river unfortunate run out obviously uh, i could have sometimes i would have went a lot bigger there on the river um but Luckily, we didn't. Still 100 big blinds. No butter. No butter. Probably the first kind of uh, hand going against us in the chip craft. I'll tell you that much. We are going to raise with 9-7 of diamonds here. Three spots away from coming back. One spot away from another ladder. We at last, we get up to 5k. Get flat here. Black Evan says, anyone else working in the morning should be in bed. We're just hanging around until the national anthem. Can't help it, mate, can we? Just can't help it. Going to start with a check. Kind of tempting to bet. Uh, we're gonna overbet the turn. <laughs> Alright, nice to get a pop back. Not quite back to the 4 million chips, but we take it. 2 out of 12. Peppa Pig with a few chips going their way, but no big deal at all. It's all good, baby, baby. Nice. Uh, we have a full house. 
Damn, son. Damn, son. Pepper, please start putting all the chips in. Pepper, please. Please. All right, we are going to just call. I don't think I can put all the chips in against Pepper. We see that they played the sixes. Mate, if Jakobsen just raises his turn, it will send shivers down my spine that it's exactly this hand. Uh, I will be... All right, we're going to overbet this river. I think... They're not going to check raise here. And we don't really want this player to check raise, considering what we've seen. All right, we win a huge, huge, huge pot. Up to almost 5 million chips, we are back to chip leader. They have Queen Jack. We swap back around with Peppa. We are now chip leader again. 1 out of 12. 3 spots away from the final table. Zero Dida, do you want to just shove there for your big blinds? Ace King? Feels like Peppa's getting ready to play a big pot. Feels like Peppa wants to go to bed. It's way past your bedtime, Peppa. We're going to raise it up with the aces. We are very, very, very deep. All right, so they can definitely have fives and sixes. I don't think they've got king five or king six. Six five suited potentially, but overall pretty good flop, I would say. King jack can be a thing, but we are going to be betting turn. Looking at my stack and not his stack. <sighs> it feels a little bit thin, but the bounty's pretty big. King jack, two com or three combos. Pocket jacks is possible. Feels very, very thin. But it's for half pot. It's definitely thin, isn't it? 7-8 possibly a thing, especially 7-8 of hearts. I'm going to go for it. Very, very thin. Come on! What a fucking pot! Come on! Let's go! What a pot. Oh my days! Woo! Woo! Oh my days! That was insane. Oh my days, what an insane pot. I'm sitting out of a tournament still. What an insane pot. Damn, son. That is naughty. It's really, really thin on the river, but for half pot. For half pot, I can't say no. All right, we have two sixes. What an insane pot. All right, we're going to trip that call. It's going to be absolutely fucking miserable if they shove. Absolutely miserable if they shove. Not so miserable on that flop, though. We flop bottom set on jack 8-6. We are going to go for a check call. If it goes check, check here, we will probably go all in. Uh, we're in a big pot. I'm going to stay here. This is far more important. Hold. Oh my god, what a clean run! Give me them chips! Oh my days. Now who's the booty daddy? Apparently not me unbelievable scenes we are one out of ten we have 200 big blinds almost utter madness what this is this is up there with those runs that we will never forget that is just so insanely beautifully clean we are one out of ten closest to us in chips right now is 3.5 million in chips some wild 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 stuff materializing here this evening not going to be opening with 8.5 we are now guaranteed 11,000 plus. That is 16,000. Not so shabby. Whew. That's it. We have just made a final table of scoop. And we have a monster chip lead. No matter what goes down in this pot. There is going to be some straight killers on the final table. But oh my days. Unbelievable scenes. We are going to be one out of nine coming back and playing for $100,000 tomorrow. Proud flop is the booty daddy. So fucking rude. What the? All right, there, there we go. Proud flop losing the pot. That's it. I don't know if we're going to get another table draw, boys and girls. We very well might. That is not the right green. We have 167 big blinds. We are coming back tomorrow at 5.30 p.m. Irish time. Unbelievable scenes. You are going to hear Maniac 2000. Don't you worry about that.